the importance of water. Indeed, water is biologically and medically paramount to human existence. Survival dictates a rule of three. In extreme conditions, human can survive three weeks without a food, but not and never three days without a water. And here's some more. Human biochemistry is consists 60% of water. In integumentary to digestive system, food ingestion to metabolism is made dynamic. In urinary system, toxins and waste runs through urine. It serves as a lubricant in skeletal and muscular system. It even allows the body cell to grow, reproduce, and survive. And in neurosystem, a burst of hormones and neurotransmitters flows. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are expelled in respiratory system. Temperature regulation is made for homeostasis. Water is precious. Water is life. And water is the planet's most valuable resource. Now let us unfold and reveal the biochemistry of water. Water. It is a molecule made up of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Water has an empirical formula or molecular formula of H2O and it assumes a tetrahedral geometrical B-shaped structure outlined by the green colors. And water is described to be a bent molecules with a bond angle of 104 Point five degrees. Further, water is a polar molecule. That means it has a charge. And oxygen is strongly connected by a covalent bond. And these are represented by a blue color. That is a bond between two molecules of hydrogen. And please take note that covalent bond is different from hydrogen bond that we will be discussing in the next slides. Water is highly electronegative. That means there is an unequal sharing of electrons. And that oxygen pulls the hydrogen closer and tighter to itself. Oxygen has a higher electronegativity than the two hydrogen. Therefore, it results to a partially negative oxygen and a partially positive hydrogen, which are represented by a lowercase Greek delta sign. Note, the description mentioned is only intended for a single molecule of water. Let us try to discover more about water in the succeeding slides. The hydrogen bond. It is an emergent property of water bipolarity. It is of electrostatic origin created by the attraction of a partially negatively charged oxygen and a partially positively charged hydrogen. Hydrogen bonding phenomena occurs when two or more dipole molecules attach itself to another molecules. And it can bond as much as four other molecules forming a weaker bond yet longer than the covalent bond colored in blue. 
It is this hydrogen bond that makes the water a valuable molecules of light. The properties of water molecules as a universal solvent. It is the ability of the water to dissolve substances. Adhesion and cohesiveness. This refers to the creeping, sticking, and clinking ability of the water. Lesser density. A surface freezing ability and insulation for aquatic organism. And capillary action is intended to augment the transpiration among trees and it aids in the transport of water. Neutral pH. This maintains homeostasis in the human body. Higher heat capacity. This is to evaporate and serves as a cooling mechanism of water. Conduit for a high surface tension refers to the ability of the water to resist and to hold still the stretch among surfaces from breaking. The hydrophilic and the hydrophobic property pertains to the ability of the water to separate polar from a non-polar molecules. Okay. Water as a solvent. Here is an illustration of how effective water is as a solvent. As I grab a salt and pour in to the water, the sodium molecules begins to dissolve and separate. They bounce up as they gradually disintegrate and disperse as it mixes with water molecule. Let me add some more sugar, the form of sucrose. As I add some sucrose, sugar gets in and fructose is formed from a very strong covalent bond and it will take a little some time for the sugar to be mixed up with water. And even if I add some water, they are still mixes up with the water. And the same thing happens. They are mixed up with water even when I tend to drain it. To fully appreciate the simulation on how water is considered as a universal solvent, let us take a lesson and glance into the water molecules movement. Now this is the microscopic appearance of a water molecule. As you may notice, it moves randomly, and this is being powered by its polarity. Let's put the polarity. You may notice that the negatively partially charged oxygen runs and chases the positively partially charged hydrogen. And even if I put some sodium and chloride, they will tend to dissolve, they still keeps on bouncing. And even if I will put some fructose, they will also keep on dancing, pivoting, bouncing every now and then. Finally, let us be reminded that the constant movement and the dynamic motion of water driven by the polarity defines water as a universal solvent.